We aim to find a stable trajectory for robot locomotion on flat ground by latent space optimization. We take in as input the initial robot configuration and solve for walk trajectory using gradient descent in a structured latent space. Firstly, we choose quadruped robots as they inhabit an operational sweet spot between wheeled robots and drones. A quadruped robot has a comparable battery life and payload to a wheeled robot which is far superior to that of drones, whilst quadrupeds also operate in a far broader range of environments. However, they are more complicated to control. Traditional solutions such as trajectory optimization require solving a nonlinear optimization. This is solved using hand-derived or overly simplified models, which limit the range of what a quadruped robot can do. In contrast to prior art, we use a deep generative model to learn a statistical representation of the quadruped's feasible joint space. More specifically, this is done with a variational autoencoder, or VAE. And we then apply constraints using performance predictors. These are able to predict if a constraint is satisfied an order of magnitude faster than an analytical approach. We show how our performance predictors approximate complex robot dynamics and how they are used to apply complex constraints. Initially, the robot is unstable and the stability predictor returns false. We flip the semantic label to true as we wish to apply the stability constraint. We then backpropagate into the latent space via the red arrow and decode subsequent samples via the blue arrow. We train our model using static snapshots of the robot and generate dynamic trajectories from this. We choose robot quantities that we wish to predict or control as inputs to the model. These are joint angles, beat positions in the base frame, joint torques, contact forces, and the gravity body force. We use the stability performance predictor to estimate if the robot is stable. This means that the center of mass is supported by the feet in contact, while the friction constraints and torque limits are not violated. Finally, we also use a stance predictor to model contact forces during robot steps and control where in the gait cycle the robot is. Hence, our model is trained in a semi-supervised way as complex dynamics such as stability are approximated with a semantic label. More precisely, the training loss is constructed by summing the VAE loss and the binary cross entropy, which minimizes the error between the stability and stance target and prediction. The VAE loss is a mean squared error reconstruction summed with a KL divergence between the prior and posterior distributions. The training loss encourages structure in the latent space, so that consecutive stances in the walk gate are in sequence in the latent space. We show a trajectory optimised in the structured latent space, which is decoded and run on the animal robot. Here we can see that as the robot takes a step, the latent trajectory visits the next stance cluster in sequence. This trajectory is optimised in latent space as follows. Since joint angles are an output of our model, we can minimise the velocity and acceleration of them over our walk trajectory. We apply the stability constraint using gradients from our stability predictor and use our stance predictor to linearly increase the probability of being in the next stance. This makes the robot take stable steps. We conceptually compare our approach to nonlinear optimization to find a stable trajectory. Nonlinear optimization requires hand derived models for the robot's kino dynamics. These approximations tend to be specifically engineered for given use cases and do not easily generalize to novel situations, whilst also leading to overly narrow convergence basins given feasible initial states. Our approach uses a learned statistical model of the robot's feasible joint space, whilst applying kinodynamic constraints rendered differentiable by our performance predictors. In summary, our optimization is conceptually simpler and easily generalizable. We show our stable locomotion trajectory on the animal robot. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first time latent space control has been successfully applied to a complex real robot platform. Thank you for watching.